what is going on everybody my name is re everything and welcome back to another showcase video today we are going to be showcasing prometheus my boy but first let's look over his kit all right so first we're going to go over his leader skill his leader skill is increase ally speed in ritual miracle sonic miracle desolate lands and sentinel hunt by 35 percent i think he's going to be very good in pve and i think he's going to be very solid in pvp and i'll tell you why but let's look at his first ability um we got blast burn which inflicts spark spark is when the carrier takes a critical critical hit mateo gains five percent ap and deals extra damage to the target extra damage 30 percent of mateo's attack this is flat it cannot crit it cannot have an elemental bonus it is just flat 30 percent attack which is pretty nice it's just extra damage uh the main purpose of this is you want it to be five percent ap um mateo hits two to three times so he can get 10 to 15 percent ap from his own ability uh and to answer your questions you have to crit them they don't crit you you have to crit them for spark to pop to pop all right so let's look at his blast burn attacks one enemy two times damage per hit 50 percent attack that can go up to 60 percent attack each hat each hit has a 60 percent chance of dispelling one buff that can go up to 80 percent at full abilamon and inflict spark for two turns uh so the person that you inflict spark on you're gonna want to focus your whole kit on everybody's gonna be wanting to hit that person because because that extra ap could be the winning or losing cause of a game uh let's go to the second ability uh and this guy's gonna be nasty and fafnir by the way but anyway attack one enemy two times damage per hit 85 percent attack can go up to 100 percent attack uh inflicts diseased and defense down for two turns this can be resisted uh each speed grants extra damage extra damage 0.1 percent attack i don't know why they made his multiplier so low um but at the same time it is extra damage in his kit so it's not too bad it's, it's not too bad uh i wouldn't say it's the best though before attacking if the enemy already has spark gains five stacks of eternal flame so if you inflict spark with your basic attack and then hit them with this ability you will gain five stacks right from the get-go which is very very good five stacks is 10 percent attack and five percent damage reduction uh anyway this can be this ability's cooldown can be reduced to three turns uh and then the next one fire punch gain three stacks of elemental flame and let's go over elemental flame real quick plus two percent attack and minus one percent damage taken per stack eternal flame stacks minus two whenever mateo takes a critical hit now i will show you the key to not getting crit hit i will show you exactly what you want to do when you put this character on a team uh Okay, so inflict spark on one enemy for two turns, then attacks the enemy three times. So he, he can inflict damage three times. That's fantastic for Fafnir. Damage per hit, 60% attack. Each hit steals one buff. Upon successfully ste stealing, Mateo gains three stacks of eternal flame. Uh, each speed. So not only does he get an initial three times hit, he gains three stacks just for ulting, but he can also gain three stacks per buff he steals. So that's very, very good. Um that can be up to nine stacks, right? Because he hits three times, up to nine stacks plus the initial three. That's already 11 stacks. <laughs> you're, you're already at 11% damage reduction and 22% attack. Uh, each speed grants extra damage, extra damage 0.25% of, of Mateo's attack, uh, gains one stack of El eternal flame when getting healed. That is the key, right? So I'm going to shove him on a team and this, uh, this is, this is going to be great, right? I'm going to shove him on a team. He has a bajillion, trillion, a million crit rate, right? I give him a bunch of crit rate. I don't have a good set. Keep that in mind. I have a vampiric set that is literally four stars it is not a five star set it is not a six star set okay and then i have him on an accuracy set that makes no goddamn sense i just put it on him because of the highest stats i could find okay so right now he's not at his best he's not at his best but i'm gonna show you i'm gonna get i'm gonna throw 
Leora onto this team because she inflicts defense down. And if you don't have Leora, guess who else inflicts defense down? Ta, the free-to-play character that you could R6 in literally the previous event, right? She also inflicts defense down, so she will run great with this guy. And I'll tell you why. Because if he gets crit, he loses his stacks. You don't want that. So you want to reduce their crit rate. Another thing you can do is throw this guy on the team because he makes them miss. And what can't they do when they miss? Crit. They can't crit when they miss. So you can throw in Loki and and they can count their days, right? Um, I'm going to throw him on a healing centric team because he does gain stacks when healing. This is a team built around him specifically. So... I will just build him. If you don't have Geb, you can replace him with any other healer. Uh, just Geb is really strong with him because he gives the passive that he gives. This right here, the uh, he grants 4% base attack, which will just give him more damage, which is fantastic. Anyway, let's get into the showcase. I'm, I'm going to stop talking. I can talk while doing the showcase, okay? If this ever loads. Okay. So, I'm going to do until his turn. Let's... Let's get some stacks up. I, I won't I won't skip because I want you guys to see what I'm doing. So I'm going to ult. I'm going to give him two stacks there. He already has two stacks from healing. Just from healing. Uh, and then he has two of Ahmed's buffs. So that's 8% attack. And that's 4% attack that he gave himself. Plus 2% damage reduction. Which doesn't sound like a lot, right? Until you start doing this. Then he gets 3% damage reduction and more attack. Everybody on their enemy team has a buff. So what we're going to do to steal this that's 12 that's 12 stacks immediately immediately 12 stacks all right and then we're gonna heal again 13 stacks right and so now <laughs> we're gaining stacks very very quickly he's not dying because he is <laughs> let me stress this is daddy free to play daddy free to play went over this and he looked at him more like a dps comparing him to gaius Comparing him to, to, to Yuhime, right? People that do super giga damage. This guy is not super giga damage. This guy is supposed to be a tank that does damage, that does passive damage when, when he hits crits, right? Because he's going to hit crits. He's not a damage dealer. He's not, he's not a full DPS. He's more of a bruiser. What does that mean? He wants to have attack as a main stat. HP and HP percent in the in in his secondary attributes. He wants crit damage. He wants defense. He wants to be tanky as well as do damage, right? And I, I think that's something Daddy Free to Play did not stress enough, right? So let's get this crit rate down so we don't lose our stacks. Uh, let's start hitting someone else because I want to check something, right? So let's heal. He's at fourteen stacks. From just being here from getting regen from her any regen character with this guy is crazy because he gets not only healed from the initial heal but he also gets healed on the stack when it's his turn and it gives him one stack it's really really good All right so let's hit this person and this pops the spark right we'll probably crit him we're hitting him two times we'll see right let's see we did 11,000 damage stress that I am not using an attack set. I'm not using an attack set. I gained stacks from hitting him twice because I healed twice because of the vampiric thing that I have on him. Uh, let's do one of these. Give everybody standoff. Let's heal up. He's at 19 stacks. He's almost max. So soon we'll see him at max potential. Now he's at max. He's at max with only, what, 4, 8, 12, 16, 20. He's at, he has 20% attack uh, from, from Gap, right? So let's see how much he does in a single target hit. 9,000 is fucking nuts. Okay, so we're going to hit that guy again. Let's let's not hit that guy because he has spark on him. Um. Okay, okay. Now, let's not die, everybody else. Come on, now. I have shitty sets on everybody because I, I just haven't had time to grind this. Uh, let's hit this guy again. Actually, let's hit this guy. I missed. <laughs> I missed. Okay. So, I lost. I got crit. 
I got crit, I lost two stacks, which is what sucks, right? You want to run somebody that can that can prevent that. But we'll get that healing back. We'll get those stacks back right now. So now we are at max. And now we're going to do his ult. You guys ready for this? Let's see how much he does. 13,000 is kind of crazy. 13,000 is kind of crazy. Keep in mind that I have four star relics on a, on a set that doesn't give him damage. Like the war machine set or the crit damage set. The If you run that with level six equips, he's nasty. He's broken. He's busted. He's busted. You want HP percent, defense percent, and then you want speed and crit damage crit rate mixed around. Then you want maybe the crit rate sub to give you 25% crit rate. Now look at him. He's doing like 50k <laughs> to one person. And then on his AoE, he's doing like 20k. Like, it's so nasty. He's so crazy. Uh, I think this guy is insane. Um, if you don't believe me that he's not a DPS, I'll show you that he's not a DPS. When we go live servers, I do have a set already prepared for him. Already in my mind. I need to grind it out. I need to get it prepared for him. Because when he comes, I'll summon him. I'll show you guys that he's not a pure DPS. And that's it. That's it. He's not a pure DPS. Stop comparing him with Gaius. God damn. It's not that hard. Gaius is crazy, right? Uh, Leora is crazy, right? But he's not a pure DPS. He's just a tank slash DPS. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next video. I got to get back to work. <laughs>